All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Fridays. Today's session, we're going to be going with driver. We're going to figure out how to stop popping that ball up into the air. All right, let's jump in. All right, guys, so in today's session, this drill is going to help us stop skying the driver. So for all of you who are struggling with it, we all know that ball flight, we all hate it. So we go under the ball, it pops up off the top of the head. We end up marking the top of our driver and the ball goes absolutely nowhere. So this is going to help, you, help us out to fix it. I'm going to be using a bucket and an alignment stick. I'm going to set it up, have the bucket just off the back edge of this mat here. And we're going to have it coming through, just poking it through the bucket. That way that it sticks up for us there. Now we do want to set this up just so it's in, going to be just in front of us when we're, uh, when we're hitting these shots. So as a right-handed golfer, I'm going to be setting it up on my left-hand side here. Now, I'm going to do these with practice swings first, because as we know, as we're learning a new movement, we don't want to go straight into it hitting real full shots. We want to do it nice and smooth, nice and slow and deliberate. That way we can learn that movement. Now, the reason why we sky this driver, whenever we hit that shot that just pops up in the air and goes nowhere, is what ends up happening is at the top of our backswing, we're in a nice position up here, but what we'll end up doing is we'll actually have what we call too much lateral shift. So that means that at the top of our backswing, instead of shifting our weight forward and turning like we should, what ends up happening is we shift forward and slide even further. And what that actually does is that gets that driver coming too steep down in the ball. And if you imagine the tee's there, we're hitting down into the tee like that. Now, as you know, with driver, it's the only one we want to be hitting up into the ball to maximize that distance. So if we're hitting down into it, already we're going the wrong direction. And if we get too steep on it, that's when the ball's going to pop up in the air. That's what this alignment stick here is for. So when we set it up here, we want it, we, I generally go a fist away from my body. And the reason why I do this is at the top of our swing, when we do shift forward and we get that turn starting, there is a little bit of movement. So there isn't complete on the back foot and turn because again, we don't want to hang back and stay on that back foot. So we do have this, this moment in our golf swing where we do slide a little bit forward. Now, here's the trick here, is it's that all that is, is that's our weight shifting to our forward foot. It's not us feeling like we're sliding and driving forward, because if we do that, that's when we get this section where we go that way. Too much of that, not good for the swing. So all I'm gonna do is I've got this set up, we got it, might get a little bit, a little bit more up so it's easier for me to measure. And I'm gonna have it about a fist away from my leg. And all I'm gonna try and do here is take a swing without letting my leg drive into that stick. Really good. Now for all you guys who really struggle with sliding forward and, and struggle with skying the ball, you're gonna find this quite hard because what will end up happening is you're gonna to wanna to go to your normal swing and slide forward into that stick. All right guys, so I'll show you a little bit of different angle, angles that you couldn't see there from before on that other side view. But we've got the bucket, we've got the stick going through the bucket there and sitting up. We wanna have it that fist away from where we would. So we're gonna have it, this bucket's a little bit broken. Move it around here. We don't want it having it coming too far in front here, just because that way it's going to interrupt our swing as we go through. So when I set it up, good, a little bit closer. There it is, about a fist away. And then once you get comfortable with doing it without the ball, that's when we're going to start trying to hit that ball. So I'll set it up again, golf ball's on the tee, sticks a fist away. All I'm going to do, I'm going to try and take my swing without hitting that stick. I think I kind of nudged up against it. So what I'll do there is before I put the ball back on the next one, take a couple of practice swings to get, just get used to that feeling again. Really nice. Really like that ball flight. All right, guys. Well, I hope that drill gave you a little uh, idea on how we can help avoid skying the golf ball. So instead of getting that really, really high, ugly trajectory off the ball, where we mark the top of our driver, we can try and get it coming out a little bit lower, a little bit closer to the middle of the face, uh, and overall provides a more consistent ball flight. Uh, now, again, 
If this doesn't work for you, every person's swing is a little bit different. So if you can't get it working with this drill, go see your local PGA professional. They're gonna be able to have a look at your swing and see exactly what's happening in it and figure out a way to stop you skying the golf ball. Other than that, um, again, I am registered for Movember. So if you have any ability to donate, it's going to a really good cause, trying to help out with men's health. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and look forward to seeing you again in the next one.